I was waiting for you in that alleyway, watching you, watching me. And then you began to speak. So what a lucky break for me. Perhaps lucky for both of us. You uh, said you were waiting for me. What were you going to do? Kill me, drink my blood, all that stuff? Yes. But you needn't be concerned with that now. Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of V Rising. One of the biggest. Some would say one of the best. One of the biggest surprises of 2022. The developers of this game were hoping for 100,000 players. They said they would be shocked if they hit 150,000. And what happened? They hit 500,000. Then they hit a million. And right now, two weeks after launch, they are here to report 1.5 million sales. 1.5 million vampires. That is very impressive for a small indie title game slash studio. And there is more to come because when this happens, the money starts flowing in. Now they need content updates. Now everybody wants to get a piece of it. And we're going to be talking about a patch that just dropped and their dev blog talking about the future. Now, before we begin, it is the end of May. We are about to start June and I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. Help push the channel forward in 2022. On top of that, I've officially started a Patreon. Thank you to the first 40 members that have signed up. Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. Podcast 17 will be going up tomorrow. All right, as always, I will share my thoughts. Please feel free to share yours in the comment section below. Here we go right now. We're just going to jump right into it. V Rising. This is their dev blog posted May 30th, which was yesterday. Now, to be clear, all of this writing, the thanks, next steps, all of this is basically saying they're blown away. They thought it was going to be 150,000 players. They cannot believe the response. They're overjoyed. They're so happy. They can't wait for the future. Okay, so we're not going to read through all that. We're listening to the players. Right now, we're, we're pausing. We're taking a step back so we can make a leap forward. I mean, they really are open and honest that they did not expect this level of response. Which, you know, I like it when a studio is at least comes across as honest. That's how I feel. The massive support of V Rising received will not only give us the opportunity to finalize our plans for the game, but will also give us enough time to include some of our darkest dreams of what the experience will look like at the full release. We can promise you something very special for 1.0. With time, there will be more weapons to wield, loot to plunder, a sorcerer to conjure. I, I'm literally reading this paragraph because of that. There will be more V Bloods with new challenges, lands to explore, and further ways to enhance your castle to express your vampir vampiric glory, vampiric glory, a world that will feel fresh to dive in and sink your teeth into again and again. The vampire's journey is far from over. So small little taste of the future. And they said it right here. And trust me, I've got consider myself to have a pretty decent memory. We can promise you something very special for 1.0. We'll have to wait and see what that is. Right now, we're taking one step back to make a huge leap forward, regrouping so we can move into the next leg of our journey with unshakable intent. These dev updates might not come as frequently at first, as well as taking a moment to refill our blood reserves. After that, we will be launching onward at full speed to bring you new dark designs 
for the fall and beyond. The marketing team will continue to report on the progress from inside the thick walls at Stun Lock Dungeon. Listen to me. Pedal to the metal. Over communicate. Hot fixes. Bugs fixing. New content. Twitter communication. It's Steam communication. Don't stop. Second you stop, you're, you know we have Diablo Immortal coming. There'll be a new PoE League. There'll be a, there's always new games. So now we're gonna switch gears a little bit. You've heard about the future. You've heard about the studio. You could feel their excitement, which I get it. I would be excited too. Hoping for a hundred thousand, you get one point five million. What have they actually done? Patch notes. Client patch zero point five point four one six six nine. It's a lot of numbers dropped. They so this small update patch notes. This was today, May thirty first. So here's the meat and potatoes. The patch includes general client optimization to improve stability and performance, as well as changes from yesterday's reverted hotfix. The last hotfix came with a white screen crash issue that some users, but we've investigated the issue and it shouldn't occur any longer. We're also including significant additional adjustments. Now take a look at this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 24. Different hotfixes have been applied, which is a pretty was pretty good for the game. Some things, uh, texture qualities you can now be adjusted in the graphics menu. Low quality atmosphere is now high quality atmosphere, so you could change that as well. They moved castle floors into the right menu when you're actually constructing. They've made the maximum clan size now has been increased to 50. Game client hosting is capped to 20. You can now see server details for how long the server is running. And I'm not reading all of them, just picking out a couple of things. I like, um, there was one in here I saw. A, any player can now dismantle castle structures and floors if a castle exists without a heart. So basically means if you need to get it out of the way and there's nobody, because there's no heart, there's nobody that has it, you can now go in and make those adjustments, which is nice because sometimes there might be a castle in a spot that you want. Fixed an issue where some computers rebooted when connecting to a game. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. The drop rate of the following items has been slightly re uh, increased. Seeds, schematics, gold and jewelry. The following items can now be found in game. Razor Hood and Razor Cloak, tier one, two and three. Occurrences of multiple spawns of the same V-Blood unit will now be repaired upon server restart. Lots of good stuff. I will link this in the description if you want to go through and read it all for yourself. So that is what's going on. V Rising. Small update. Dev blog. And 1.5 million vampires. I want to know your opinion. Two questions. One, have you played? Two, will this game hold your attention? Do you see yourself playing it long term? Or is this a game where it's like, yeah, it was fun for a little bit, but I'm going to wait for the launch. Let me know in the comment section below. Like I said at the beginning of the video, check out my Patreon. I really would ap appreciate it. Obviously, the likes, shares, comments, all of the subs, all of that is important. I truly need all of it. But if you want to take it one step further, only if you think I deserve it, check out the first link in the description and become an instant ARPG VIP in my Discord, get direct access to me, and you get all that Patreon exclusive content. It really is the best way to support me in the future. If you haven't had a chance to join the official Action RPG Discord, please do so. We're approaching 1,500 members, great conversations every day. The idea is to create a gaming community that could jump from game to game together, so you never start the server alone. Link for that Discord is also in the description. I hope you all enjoyed this Bee Rising video. Hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out.